मेन डाउट ऑन होमोसेक्शुअलिटी लाइक इज इट प्रोहिबिटेड इन इस्लाम एंड वाई सो बिकॉज लाइक आई हैड लाइक फ्रॉम द पास्ट फाइव इयर्स आई डील विद सो मेनी होमोसेक्शुअल्स इट्स लाइक आई मीन दे आर फीलिंग्स दैट दे हैव फॉर फॉर द सेम सेक्स और वट एवर इट इज इट्स सो ट्रू आई मीन इट्स लाइक द सेम काइंड ऑफ पेन वट वी माइट फील फॉर फॉर मे बी आर हजबेंड्स और वो एवर इट इज इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इज इट रॉन्ग सिस्टर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट डज इस्लाम से अबाउट होमो सेक्शलिटी एंड इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इट इज रॉन्ग अल्लाह से इन द कुरान इन सर इसरा चैप्टर नंबर सेवनटीन वॉज कम थर्टी टू that come not close to adultery for adultery is an evil opening other roads to evil hmm. besides that allah says in surah araf chapter number 7 that telling to men that do you practice your lust after men in preference to women hmm. that means homosexuality is prohibited in islam in the quran because almighty god made the human beings Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rum chapter number 30 verse number 21 that he has put love between the hearts of husband and wife husband and wife almighty god has made the human being in such a way that they love the opposite sex love between the opposite sex naturally no human being loves the same sex hmm that's true i'm talking about the love which is required in husband and wife not the platonic love which you have between your brothers and between your sisters Now, initially, there was a research which said that homosexuality is genetic. Hmm. So during question and answer time, somebody asked me, the way you are asking, if homosexuality is genetic, then how is that human being to blame? It came from his parents, <laughs> so why is he to blame? Like you are saying. if someone loves someone else so why should he be blamed i said this is a research this is a hypothesis it's not a fact and later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong and the person who propounded this hypothesis he himself was a homosexual so homosexuality is not genetic Hmm. it comes today science tells us how do homosexuals evolve because what almighty god has given permission for a human being what's permitted you get married do nikah you can have sex with your wife and islam says that while doing having sex with your wife is also worshiping allah hmm. because so, you're preventing the haram you're not going outside the marital bond Hmm. to satisfy your urges that is islam today science tells us today research tells us that those people who have multiple life partners outside the marriage bond hmm. as compared to those who only have with the spouses they enjoy the sexual life much better than the others yes and what happens today when you get tired with it you go to the western countries you have mistresses 5 10 20 no problem you start then doing unnatural things unnatural things yes when you start doing unnatural things you don't follow the law of the creator law and the you creator. try and satisfy your urges in the wrong way the moment you keep on doing the wrong way then you keep on going beyond what is natural and that's how the person becomes homosexual it is not genetic because you go beyond the limits what almighty god has permitted you hmm. you try other things you try unnatural things and finally you land up by saying you do no longer enjoy having sex with the opposite sex so you have sex with the same sex so sister because they have broken the law of almighty god and they do unnatural things that's how psychologically they become a homosexual so but naturally if you break the law of almighty god that's totally wrong and that's how it lands up a person being homosexual so mm-hmm. they are to blame and islam prohibits homosexuality even christianity prohibits homosexuality most of the religions are against homosexuals it's now the western countries are saying because in democracy whatever majority says you win majority wins in islam 
majority doesn't win doesn't the haq wins haq wins the truth yes. wins yes sir i remember when i had gone to canada in 1996 the first time i went to give a lecture in the front page i saw a man kissing a man a man kissing a man <laughs> and it says that they have married each other today in western countries if i speak against homosexuality it's a crime it's a crime so what we realize that previously previously all the countries homosexuality was a crime then some western countries like canada gave legal sanction to it today most of the western countries homosexuality is legal even india the country where i come from they are thinking they are thinking to make it legal so what we realize what is truth is truth majority doesn't win what is wrong is wrong and in islam and most of the major religion of the world homosexuality is a sin it's a crime it will not take you to heaven it will take you to hell hope that answers the question sister